Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whoever you are. Um, first video of 2021, the first video I've done for a while. Um, and that's because of the sheer amount of problems I've had with my aquarium. Um, first of all, I got a major electric shock off my protein skimmer. Um, I thought there was something going on in the tank. Corals were stressing, sliming fish are acting very strange just you know just put my hand in the tank as you do and um, got a massive electric shock and it worked out it was my protein skimmer so that had to come out um, then I had a big cyanobacteria break out uh, which I managed to solve then I had like a mini cycle happen again loads of dinos uh, managed to sort that out and then I had a massive algae outbreak um, which took me a while to sort out um, all my parameters were still the same as they always were so I'm not sure why all this happened but I suspect it's something to do with the protein skimmer going um, so I'm in the market now for a new protein skimmer um, so yeah happy 2021 this is my newest coral frag that you can see in front of you at the moment um, it's a goniopora or as they say in some parts of the world goniopora um, I love these corals absolutely love these corals and this is the first one I've had um, was quite tightly closed for the first few days but now it's starting to open up nicely um, I've had to adjust the lights so you can see them on this uh, video but yeah it's all looking absolutely brilliant a little bit of flow not massive um, and it's enjoying the tank so that's all good so you know I hope to get a few more of these I like the red ones um, I've seen a nice sunset Goliopora um, but it's very expensive um, this one wasn't too bad I got this one quite cheap so that's okay um, so I just thought I'd give you a little update that's my newest coral um, as you can see down here some of my zoas um, I'm not sure what the pink ones are um, I bought them as a no name um, but they are zoas there's one utter chaos in there as well um, which was on the frag but they're, they're all grown very nicely now which is all good uh, what else we got going on? Oh, there's Scotty. There's my small um, frog spawn, which was, as I said in previous videos, minute when I got it. Absolutely minute. Um, so yeah, that's all. That's all growing lovely. There's a pavona there, uh, which a friend gave me, which was at death's door. But um, since it's put it in my tank, it's coming on nicely. Um, yeah, it's all lovely. There's one of my hammers. Um, which has got two new heads coming on that one um, if you think the flow's looking a bit funny that's because I've turned it down to this video was a it's a bit too much at the back there you can see my gorgonian uh, underneath that is a uh, furry mushroom behind the gorgonian there's a waving hand coral um, which was in the front of the tank but now I've moved it to the back um, it's all growing lovely there's my torch it's a short technical torch uh, that's also got a new head coming um, which is the lower part um, that's all grown very nicely um, my saffron goby does like to sit in that um, so that's why it's a bit closed up as well um, I don't know why but he loves sitting in there <laughs> what else we got in here there's my Duncan I bought that as one head absolutely quite small but now it's got five heads all together um, there's my neon goby um, growing very nicely uh, one of my favorite corals the Duncan what else we got oh there's a hammer that's my mint hammer um, that's got a new head growing if you can see underneath the main one there uh, and the smaller one at the bottom in between those two there's a new head coming and there's also another new head coming behind that main one um, so yeah they're all growing very nicely very good um, there, I don't know if you've seen my other videos. It's my green star pilot that I'm growing on the side glass. Um, there was a big lump of it on a rock in front of that. Um, but since it's only a nano tank, it was a bit too much. So I took the rock out, I sold that, uh, and it continued growing it on the glass there. Uh, the colours just kind of started coming back. I love the way that moves. I love the colours you get from it. Absolutely brilliant. Um, what else we got? Oh, talking of Duncans, 
uh, there's another channel on YouTube um, where the chap had just bought uh, one well a couple of heads on a Duncan which weren't opening uh, this one took a week to open when it was one single head and I thought oh you know what am I doing wrong here um, but it did take a week um, and I said to somebody a little while ago in this hobby patience is the key um, so yeah that's what my Duncan looks like I know um, I left you a comment Jay's Real Reef UK uh, but that's what my one looks like that's got five heads now there's another one behind that you can't see but yeah absolutely brilliant there's not a lot else in here really um, if you look on here that's uh, you just about see it that is a uh, Postlepora it's a rainbow Postlepora uh, I know you can't see it very well I'm still waiting for my new lens to come it's all been delayed because of coronavirus and stuff um, but yeah but yeah there you go everything in my tank doing very well all looking very nice oh, neon goby keeps coming to the front here there he is he uh that's one of my fish in the tank if he stays still i'll be able to focus on him there you go it's a good little fish so yeah there's everything in my tank as i say patience is the key everyone don't be rushing these things even if you know, if you've got a nano tank and you you do put a load of coals in there at once, remember, all of those coals going in there at one time will affect your water parameters. So you need to keep your eye on them or just learn some patience. Anyway, thank you very much. I hope everyone's well. Um, if you like my videos, please do subscribe. Click the notification button. Um, yeah, there you go. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Goodbye.